okay so let's understand congestion policy with an example so congestion is a is a scenario when we have a um, lot of data on the internet which is going beyond the internet capacity and this as a result will uh, uh, affect the performance of internet so we need a defined policy so that this congestion can be reduced so already we have seen that we have a defined the tcp congestion policy uh, that actually works on the three phases so if you look to the entire tcp connection we have three phases the first we have to establish a connection this is called phase 1 and in the second phase this is called data transfer phase where the entire data to be transferred would be in the two communicating parties and then we have a uh, connection termination which is called a tear down phase so congestion uh, is normally to be taken care in the data transfer uh, phase which is a phase 2 so congestion policy basically defines the uh, three uh, stages one is called slow start that means exponential increase where we keep on increasing the segments exponentially then second is called a congestion avoidance where we uh, do the additive increase where only one segment uh, per round trip is added and then we have a congestion detection where which is basically a multiplicative decrease so once the congestion has been identified then we have to control by reducing the number of segments delivered so in the slow start when uh, this is a very uh, initial phase which is called as a exponential increase where we keep on increasing the number of segment depending on the number of acknowledgement received so if you are sending a uh, two segments and if you receive the two acknowledgement then the next time you will be going to deliver uh, four segments this is how the things will work now during this phase uh, increasing the segment exponentially but it will only increase up to the threshold value so this is called slow start uh, threshold value which is the half of the receiver window size so it's keep on increasing up to this value and the moment you reach uh, to this uh, threshold value then you actually move to the second stage that is called additive increase so in the slow start if the congestion is there now to identify that the congestion is present in the internet or not there is no uh, defined uh, entity which is going to report you but uh, with the with the behavior of the connection we can realize that the connection is present in the network or not so the connection is identified whenever we are doing a retransmission so retransmission is basically a parameter or a mechanism through which we can identify that, uh, that there is a congestion existing in the network and we need to take some step now retransmission by a rule we are doing it where either because of rto or because of three duplicate acknowledgement so rto means uh, retransmission uh, timeout timer so whenever the packet is delivered and uh, if it is not acknowledged within this rto within this time period then there is a retransmission required and yeah, this is one category of retransmission that packet the second case is uh if a sender receives three duplicate uh acknowledgement for a particular uh segment then that segment will again be uh, delivered in the congestion policy we have seen that if the retransmission is happened because of rto so whenever a retransmission is happening because of rto then this is said to be a a strong congestion and whenever the retransmission is happening because of three duplicate acknowledgement then this is a weaker congestion and accordingly uh, the entire communication has to behave so let's say uh, you are in the first phase low start phase which is exponential increase phase and the congestion has been realized and how it is realized because you are doing retransmission so if the retransmission is happening because of the time out then what is going to happen the threshold value will be going to decrease to the current window size and the this your uh, congestion window will be one segment that means the moment you find that the retransmission is happening because of rto 
then we will start from the slow start phase uh, very similar to the slow start phase because here again uh, our window size will will be begin from one segment and threshold will be half of the window but if the read transmission is happening because of three duplicate acknowledgement that is also a kind of congestion but this is a very weaker congestion in this case what is going to happen we will be uh, making the threshold equals to half of the current window size and the congestion window will be the threshold size so we are not going to make this as a one segment but it is going to actually the half of the window size so because the congestion is uh, is weaker it's not that much strong this is how uh, we maintain the congestion now if uh, you realize that if your uh, window reaches to the threshold value then you move to the second phase that is called uh, congestion avoidance where we are going to increase the segment size one by one now if we reach to the second phase and again if we are doing retransmission and the retransmission is happening because of RTO then again we will follow the same rule so that means uh, in either scenario if you are getting a retransmission because of the RTO then we are going to use this property the threshold will be becoming the half of the current window size and your congestion window will be the one segment if it is done because of the RTO otherwise we will be doing this thing so this is how the congestion is uh, handled in the TCP now let us take an example to understand the scenario so this is one scenario which is uh, which is shown graphically this is one scenario uh, of, uh, of dealing the congestion so here we are assuming that the maximum window size is 32 so if the maximum 30, uh, so if the maximum window size is 32 that means the threshold will be the half of this that means the threshold value will be so the starting uh, th threshold will be the s s threshold is equals to 16 okay so how the th things will start so if you look at this in this graph this axis will be showing the round trip time and this axis uh, and this axis is going to represent the your congestion window so according to, to congestion policy we start at the slow start and the slow start means with every uh, round trip we are going to double the number of segment delivered so we start after the first round trip we our uh, window size will be double then with the second round trip it becomes four then third it becomes eight and then with four it becomes 16 so now we have reached the threshold value that means now we are we are going to the phase two which is a uh, additive increase where we are going to increase one segment so this is your uh, start phase then this is your second phase additive increase this is a slow start okay so what is happening here with every round trip we are going to increase only one so this becomes 17 then 18 19 and then 20 now at this point there is a retransmission happened this uh, and this retransmission is happening because of the timeout reason because the RTO got expired and there is no acknowledgement received for this segment so there need to be a retransmission and this is also an indication of congestion why this congestion because the timer has expired and because of the busy traffic because of a lot of congestion you are not able to receive the acknowledgement they need to do something so that connection uh, congestion can be reduced so this is done because of the RTO so as per the RTO what is required your uh, threshold will be going to the half of the current window so current window size is 20 so threshold will be going to become 10 and your segment and, and the CWND means uh, the condition window is going to become one segment so again you drop down to this and the next communication start with one segment and then you actually move to the slow start phase so if the retransmission is happening because of RTO you actually moving to the slow start phase and then you will proceed in the same way with every 
RTO with every uh, uh, round trip time you are going to double it you are actually uh, increasing exponentially so here you can see that it's keep on increasing exponentially and when the threshold value has reached then you move to the additive increase and then the number of segments increase is by one so here you can see that it's keep on incre increasing one segment at a time and let's say we have again observed a retransmission but now this retransmission is happening because of the three duplicate acknowledgement now this is an indication of a weaker congestion and in this case what is required you are going to make your threshold value the half of this so here this is observed at uh, you can see here this is 10 11 12 that means uh, it is actually the current window size is 12 that means at this point when the congestion has detected the threshold will value will be reduced to 6 because the threshold value will be the half of the current window size and also you uh, the current window will remain 6 and you have to start from this position so in this case there is no need to start from the slow start phase but it will move to the additive increase that means uh, uh, at this uh, point it will keep on increasing and because this is the additive increase that means with every round trip the number of segment increase will be one and so it's keep on increasing one by one so accordingly uh, on the basis of the retransmission we have to decide that what is the nature of congestion and accordingly we have to uh, adjust the value so this is how the congestion is handled in the tcp and i hope that you understood the entire process of handling the tcp congestion that's all for this thank you very much